just click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when I'm online. Happy watching! my channel i am fatma i'm khan sharif and welcome back to fatistan so today is day 11 of ramadan ramadan kareem ramadan mubarak to all of you and we are going to sort out our wardrobe our son's wardrobe so that the clothes especially his wardrobe because there are so many clothes that are new but he has grown out of the size we decided we will give that in a charity, there are so many charities available here like British Heart Foundation, St. Christopher's. So we are going to donate his clothes that are new or has been worn not a lot of time to the charity in this month of Ramadan. Apart from the zakat that we have decided. And today I am going to prepare lamb nihari. So you can use either mutton lamb or chicken for this recipe if you're interested do keep watching and do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Fatma and Khan Sharif and do not forget to click the bell icon so you will know whenever I am online so let's get started so these are the clothes that we are going to donate he has worn this but they are not worn out or they are not faded and it's still in good condition but my son has grown out of the size so I'm going to donate all these clothes his clothes my clothes and some of my husband's clothes as well so this video is to encourage others to do the same these are the ingredients to make Nihari masala one and a half tablespoon of fennel seeds one tablespoon of coriander seeds half teaspoon of black peppercorns one teaspoon of cumin seeds half teaspoon of cloves two mace if if it is not a complete full one then two otherwise one would be enough one small nutmeg three cinnamon sticks six green cardamoms and two star anise i don't have a long black pepper so if you have one you can add one into this and you just have to grind it into a fine powder and your nihari masala would be ready so now pour all the garam masala that we have taken out into this mixer jar to grind it into a fine powder and this would be your nihari masala that you can use later in this dish okay so give it a pulse and then grind it into a fine powder So now as the powder is ready, I'm going to transfer all the powder into this so that uh, it has a lid so it will be So I have transferred all the Nihari powder that we made into this container which I'm going to use in the later part of the dish and I have covered it with the lid so that the smell fragrance would be remain here and it smells really really good then the powdered spices that we need are one tablespoon kashmiri red chili powder half teaspoon red chili powder one teaspoon cumin powder one teaspoon ginger powder which is dry ginger powder one by four teaspoon of turmeric powder and one by four teaspoon of dry mango powder or armchur powder you can also use citric acid powder and some salt to taste so now i have the preheated cooker and now i have to add some oil which is a vegetable oil or sunflower oil you can use any oil so in nihari you used to pour a lot of oil so tari bahut zyada hoti hai so i half a cup of oil here in this cooker and rest half here in this kadhai so i'm going to prepare masala here and i'm going to roast lamb or um, mutton here so rest half cup of oil goes here 
so what am i going to do here after putting a lot of oil you must be very worried i'm going to take out the extra 30 so that people who loves oil they can put it over and those who don't want oil they can um, take that out and we can use the same oil in some other dish so here is the oil and now i'm going to put all these lamp pieces which is washed and you can see it is all bone pieces like bone with some flesh mostly people use goat leg or mutton leg um sheep leg for nihari but uh, i don't have that one so i'm using these big chunk pieces i'm putting all this into the cooker i have to roast this until the water leaves the mutton and then dries out this is how it looks like so, so water from this lamp should leave this lamp and then dry out so until then we have to roast and quickly we'll prepare the masala for nihari and then we'll pour this masala into this nihari so now in this pan i have poured half a cup of oil and now i'm going to add three tablespoon of ginger garlic paste or you can add one tablespoon of ginger paste and two tablespoon of garlic paste as you like i roast it well So at this point when the raw smell of ginger garlic paste goes, you have to put the powdered masala that I have already told you, everything at once. Now we can add water little by little for this masala so that it will not stick to the pan just saute it for one minute now at this point when you see the masala has been sorted for like one minute you have to add half a cup of yogurt or curd Always remember whenever you add curd or yogurt into any kind of dish turn the flame very low like very slim and then mix it slowly with the other masala like this now at this point add half a cup of crispy fried onions or you can cut one medium sized onion and deep fry it so this is half a cup and i'm going to add and saute it well So now at this point we are going to add the prepared Nihari Masala. I am going to add all of these content uh, except one teaspoon that I will save to put, in, to put at the end for garnishing. So I am taking all the Nihari Masala out. So as you can see I have just left one teaspoon of Nihari Masala so that I can use that at the end to garnish. So now saute it really very well. You can add water little by little. At this point add some salt. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt because we haven't salt because we haven't added salt yet. Now as you can see the masala is almost done. 
अच्छे से भून गया है यू कैन सी द ऑयल एट द एंड विच इज़ द साइन दैट मसाला हैज़ बीन कुक्ड प्रॉपरली एंड इफ यू गो बैक टू द मीट इट हैज़ टर्न ब्राउन सो दिस इज द राइट टाइम टू मिक्स द मसाला इन टू द मीट वी जस्ट हैव टू गेट बोथ ऑफ द मैरिड टू इच अदर सो दैट इज हाउ द डिश वुड बी द फ्लेम ऑफ for this masala and i'm going to pour all the masala into this mutton it's lamb not mutton i don't know why i keep saying mutton okay so i'm just going to pour all the masala into the lamb slowly be careful so the thing is this is the fastest way of cooking any dish uh beat nihari or beat any non veg dish you have the masala cooked separately you have the mutton cooked separately and then you just have to uh, cook both together really very well we just have to cook for like 3 to 4 minutes and then i will keep it uh, on a whistle for like 2 to 3 whistles that's it so i'm just mixing everything up water like for example half a cooker of water you can pour water according to your wish like how much curry you want and just don't go away <laughs> वाटर लगा के विसल लगा के बंद कर देना नहीं है वी हैव सम मोर स्टेप्स इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स फॉर निहारी ओके सो जस्ट कीप वॉचिंग सो दिस मच वॉटर आई हैव पोर्ड सो दैट्स द मीच कैन फ्लोट इन इट फ्रीली एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ऑल दिस ऑयल आउट आफ्टर द विसल सो इफ यू डोंट लाइक ऑयली आइटम्स you put oil you cook the dish and once it's cooked you take out the oil so that the taste of the dish would be good and it will have less oil as well but if you cook in a less oil then the dish would not be the same so now i'm going to close the lid and keep it for 2 to 3 whistles we are going to make the slurry like in chinese dish how you use corn flour we are going to use you can use either wheat flour or you can either use plain flour or you can use gram flour or maida or sorry besan so if you are using besan take the same amount of besan lightly roast it into the pan and then you have to add water and make a slurry of it so i am using plain flour which is like ma maida and i'm just pouring some water If it at your home you prefer thin consistency of nihari you can use less atta and if at your home they prefer thick consistency of nihari you can use more atta so at my place they use so at my place we love thick consistency of nihari so i have used like half of this bowl of uh, maida maida atta whichever you want so the slurry should be watery like this Now keep it aside, and we are going to use it at the end. Now the whistle has come down, so I'm going to open this cooker and see how it looks, whether meat is cooked or not. And I'm going to take out the extra oil into this glass. So this is how it looks now. You can see. a lot of oil floating so i'm going to take oil little by little like this and pour it into this glass so 
so before pouring the slurry we have to take this oil out As you can see, I have taken nearly more than half a glass of uh, oil from the dish. And now I'm going to pour the slurry. So how we pour the corn flour slurry into the Manchurian or Chinese dish. In the same way we have to one hand hold this and on the other hand we have to Hold the spoon and mix it so that um, it will not get burned or stick at the end at the bottom and I have turned the flame on and kept it in the sim forget the Nihari masala that we prepared. Now we are going to add this. So this is the consistency that I needed. So now I am going to close the lid. I am not keeping it on whistle. Just close the lid and keep the flame at the sim. And uh, let it cook for 5 to 10 minutes. So garnish it with chopped coriander leaves, chopped green chilies and some julienne ginger and serve it with a squeeze of half a lemon. It is basically served with a naan roti, rumali roti paratha. So now it's more than 10 minutes because my baby has woken up so I had to go and feed him milk. So let's have a look how does it look. So it looks so thick now. You can see how thick it looks. The meat is also tender. And now you can either put all the garnishing thing over here or while garnishing. So I am going to put everything right now. Some coriander leaves, some green chilies, some julienne ginger. But I am not going to squeeze the lemon now. I am going to do this while serving. So now your Nihari is completely ready. And this is how Nihari looks like in the end. Masha Allah, the camera is not doing justice. But it looks orangish, reddish color. And it was so, so tasty. My husband had biryani and shami kebab at the mosque. So he didn't have it. He had it uh, in the suhoor. But I'm going to enjoy it. And it was zabardast. I'm telling you. So that is all for today. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do comment below if you did like. And hit the bell icon for the notification. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fatman Khan Sharif signing off. Take care. Bye bye. Salam. Ramadan Kareem. I hope you all are having a very blessed and good Ramadan.